Hi, I'm Tammy Lee Webb. You probably recognize me from my Buns and Abs of Steel videos. Being fit and healthy is very important to me, and that's why I choose Evolve. I have an exercise science degree, so I've studied the body from the inside. And, and once you understand what's going on on the inside of your body, you know what you want for the inside of your bodies. And our cells are, are like the CEOs of our body. They, they're... Welcome back to the KUSI Morning News. We are live from North Island. Just a beautiful day, a little uh, overcast with the marine layer, but it really couldn't be a better day for the USS Ronald Reagan to arrive here. Uh, just a beautiful backdrop here for us, and uh, you can just feel it. The excitement is definitely building. A lot of planning went into this big day, and right now you we're going to talk to somebody who had a, a lot to do with that. <laughs> is that an understatement, Kevin Fulton? <laughs> a lot of planning, yeah? Uh, a lot of planning. You know, the, the planning was actually uh, for a solid year. Year, and then when President Reagan passed away, you could pretty much start all over again because it changed everything. It went to a whole nother level. Talk about that a little bit, the significance of when that, when that happened. Uh, what, uh, what was the urgency at that point? Well, what happened originally when the aircraft carrier was named after uh, President Reagan, it was, it was the only aircraft carrier ever named after a living president. Correct. So it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And then when all of a sudden he passed away, everybody realized the life, the legacy that he was about to leave, and not only how important it is to San Diego, but America. And just from doing the media walkthroughs down here, we saw after doing three media walkthroughs, the first one was 15, the next one 45, the last one was you know over 100, and 70% of them were networks from people out of town. And all of a sudden, it became an international story, not just a California story. It's halftime on San Diego Soccer's television. San Diego Soccer's television right here on San Diego Channel 4, live from the Del Mar Arena, and the Soccer's have won back-to-back -back championships. I'm Kevin Fulton with Coach John Cotero, the general manager of the, of the Soccer's coach. Congratulations, back-to-back -back championships, and it's a double championship. Not only did you win the indoor championship, you've got the Surf Cup tonight. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic, Kevin. Thanks so much. Uh, you know, a lot of hard uh, work went into this, not only from our players, but all of our front office people. Uh, I can't say enough about the players. Phil Salvaggio, the head coach, Ray Taylor, the assistant coach. I mean, these guys put hours and hours into this, and, you know, this is really sweet. I get NBC 739 News at 6, weekend edition. Coverage you can count on. It is a day to honor our local military. Thousands turn out to say thank you to locally based servicemen and women. Up the coast, the city of Oceanside paid tribute to its military residents with an event called Operation Appreciation. A look at Operation Appreciation up in Oceanside. I'm Steve Fiorina. That story coming up. You're watching the KUSI News at 10. Today's celebration began as a plan to recognize the military's involvement in the fight to stop terrorism. But it grew into a patriotic event that included the entire North County community. And they showed up today by the thousands. More than 10,000 people came to the beach area near the amphitheater and pier to be a part of Operation Appreciation. Even the President of the United States sent a personal message. I'm pleased to join all of you in Oceanside, California for Operation Appreciation. And Kevin Fulton, uh, of course, uh, with Windfire Media. You got to be pretty proud today. You hear the president talking. How does that make you feel? Well, you know, it, it's great because he recognized how significant this is. We tried to get him here. Obviously, he's too busy to, to do something like this. But he said, you know what? That is such a great idea. I will take time and create a specific video for this. Live from Oceanside, California, Operation Appreciation. Southern California's celebration of our men and women in the military and their families, featuring their Commander-in-Chief, the President of the United States of America, George W. Bush, Commanding Officer of Camp Pendleton, General David Bice, Assemblywoman Patricia Bates, Entertainment by Rockola, Bluefish, Amber Whitlock, The Lacey Younger Band, Del Rio, even Digger the Dog, Snoopy, Shamu and friends bring greetings from SeaWorld, Disney, and Knott's Berry Farm. Join us as we show respect, honor, and appreciation for our military and their families. Welcome to Operation Appreciation. 
Terry, welcome to Blog This. We're back and we are talking about entertainment, entrepreneurship, and email marketing. On today's show, uh, we're condensing a few things and later on, you want to stay tuned because we're premiering a, a video we shot with Mark Christopher Lawrence, the Activia Challenge. That's right, people. The Activia Challenge is, is uh, up after we'll talk a little bit about how we shot that. It's pretty funny. Um, on our new February 19th, comedy fiasco. We are going to rock the house. All headliner show. Vicky Barbalak, Mike Pace, Chris Clobber, Mark Christopher Lawrence, rocking the mic. Bring yourself, we bring in the funny. Yo, in the house. I'm gonna break the fourth wall. Look, green screen. Okay, we're back. From the team that stands for San Diego. If you were anywhere near the Hotel Del Coronado today, you may have seen some familiar faces. Hundreds of Hollywood celebrities were in town filming a TV special. The celebs competed in water sports and other events for the show that's geared towards helping disadvantaged kids. Look at all the action. This is the weekend edition of News 8, San Diego's number one source for news. Now the answer to that burning question, if you wondered what all the commotion was in Coronado today, a celebrity sports challenge and musical beach blast, all part of the filming of a television special. KNSD, news at six. Well, you've probably seen the celebrity sports events that pop up Saturday and Sunday afternoons between the major sports events. But have you ever wondered where these events take place? Well, look in your own backyard. Today they were producing a special celebrity event at the Hotel Del Coronado. Several well-known TV stars tried their hands at water racing and other sporting events. One of them, San Diego, San Diegan Mario Lopez from the television series Saved by the Bell, the college years. He told our Tim Carr, well, he's glad to be home. Basically, we're here for the kids, Tim. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a benefit to help raise money, of course. And I'm a fellow San Diegan, so I'd be more than happy to help out. And I always love to come back home. So we're going to be playing some volleyball, playing a little football. There's going to be some bands later with Motown. The show will also feature some motivational, anti-drug, and pro-educational messages for children by the stars. From Oceanside, California, the home of Camp Pendleton, it's proud to be an American Day. Featuring former President Ronald Reagan, Lieutenant General Walter Boomer, comedian Yakov Smirnov, Ricardo Montalban, Joan Rivers, the fabulous Thunderbirds, Mark and Club Millionaire, the Edgar Winter Blues Band, Nina Blackwood, Misty Bellini, Shelley Michelle, the Martells, David Foster, and Voices That Care, and the five men and women who served in the Persian Gulf War. It's California Nights Welcome Home Desert Storm. News Talk 1170, KCPQ, where your opinion counts. Welcome to the Evening Edition, presented by KUSI Television, Metropolitan Magazine, and News Talk 1170, KCPQ. Here's your host, Kevin Fulton. <laughs> News Talk 1170K, CBQ, where your opinion counts. I'm Kevin Fulton. Thanks so much for joining us for your ride home. It's Entertainment Friday. What a great show for you this afternoon. Robert De Niro is in town. He'll be joining us this hour. I had a chance to catch up with Mr. De Niro over at uh, the 32nd Street Naval Base as he's in town for the christening of the USNS Carl Bashir. A fantastic play. From Broadway, downtown at the Civic Theater, The Jersey Boys. It's based on the life of Frankie Valli. We'll go backstage with the cast of The Jersey Boys in Hour 2. Steve Miller Band. They've got a re-release of the Fly Like an Eagle album that also comes out with a uh, DVD. It's been digitally remastered. It's awesome. Tonight, you can win it before you can buy it. And, of course, it's Entertainment Friday, which means from the world-famous comedy store in studio with me all night long, Sandy Seashore and Scooter the Wonder Dog. Hi, this is Bobby Lee from Mad TV, and you're listening to KCBQ with Scooter the Wonder Dog. Yes! 
<laughs> a great film coming out this weekend, Elizabeth Town. It literally has an all-star cast, Kirsten Dunst, Orlando Bloom, Susan Sarandon, Alec Baldwin. It's a Cameron Crowe film, and, you know, he's, he's such a, I mean, he's a writer, a director, a producer, but he's really one of the greatest storytellers of our time, and uh, he's a San Diego guy. Joining us now, Cameron Crowe, thank you for being with us here on KCBQ today. Thank you. You know, it's, it's an honor to be on KCBQ. I grew up with KCBQ. Cameron, thank you for joining us next time you're in San Diego. We'd love to talk to you again, buddy. Thanks, Kevin. KCBQ. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your ride home looks pretty good right now. A full check of traffic and the news at the top of the hour in about 10 minutes. But right now, let's go ahead and do a KCBQ Rewind. Hey, Davis, go ahead and hit the flashback machine. <laughs> On this day in 1942, General Douglas MacArthur became Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces of World War II. 1971, Al Pacino landed the role of Michael Corleone in The Godfather. 2005, Robert Blake was acquitted of murder. And on this day back in 1964, the largest advanced selling record in the history of the music business. And it hit the air on KCBQ on this day back in 1964. Love, love, love. And don't forget, if you'd like to win free tickets to the San Diego Symphony, the La Jolla Playhouse, the Comedy Store, and more, visit us online at kcbq.com and click Club 1170. She's Sandy Seashore. Thank you for joining us, and watch how you're driving, everybody. I'm Kevin Fulton, and that's KCBQ Entertainment News. <laughs>